Why were you and I not on that submersible? All of you, I'm sure, have been following the Titan submersible where these people went down nearly four miles down to see the wreckage of the Titanic, which sank in 1912, killing about 1,500 people. So these people paid approximately a quarter of a million dollars each to go and see that wreckage. They went down to see the wreckage and what was the outcome? They passed away, they died. Now I want to ask you a question here, brothers and sisters. Why were you and I not on the submersible? Me and you didn't even know that there was a submersible which takes you down to see the Titanic. Why were you and I not on that submersible? Because you and I are from that group who are regarded as not as privileged as those who went on it. If possibly if me and you have been multi-millionaires, we had been billionaires, maybe, maybe we would have been on that submersible. But me and you are not regarded as privileged to be on that ship because we and you don't have that much money. But it was that same privilege, that same money, which caused the demise of these five individuals. On the other hand, last week of the shore of Greece, the same ocean took the lives of other people who did not have enough and wanted to make a better life for themselves. You and I would give anything to attain the millions and the billions. But maybe there is no hair in the millions and the billions because you could have been on that submersible. Allah says, Asa an takra'u shay'an wa huwa khayru lakum wa asa an tuhibbu shay'an wa sharru lakum wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamu. It's a possibility that you dislike something, but there is good in it for you. There is also a possibility that you like something, but there is evil in it for you. Allah knows and you do not know. Imagine when these people, if they lasted that long, if they hit the seabed, imagine when they were at the seabed, imagine what they were thinking about. See, this is life, brothers and sisters. Privileges go out the window. It's like a glitch. You and I are like a glitch in this world. Your life changes like this. Imagine what they must have been thinking. The billions didn't count anymore. Wallahi. If one of them could give every penny that they owned to be in your miserable, boring, mundane, small house, they would have given it. They would have given it. This belief of have-nots and, and, and the haves and the privileged and the less privileged is a dunya we construct. That's all it is. It's made by the dunya. Because of the fact that the yardstick by which you measure it by is materialism. It's how much money you have in your bank. It's how popular you are out there. Because you can't quantify happiness. You can't quantify content and itminan. You can't quantify your connection with Allah. But what you can quantify is your dollars and your dimes, your pounds and your pennies. And this is why Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth says, Allah is telling you, don't be deceived. This dunya is nothing besides goods of deception.